this series really broke and made my heart. I loved it. Five stars. Anything Mulan, really, if it's done right. It's for me. All the way to the top, baby. I love that book. A reread of The Wrath and the Dawn. You can guess where I'm putting that one. Hello, bookworms. I'm Esme from Paradise of Pages on Instagram and also on Twitter, and welcome to a new video. So today we're actually doing something interesting because, as you can see from this thing here, I have my laptop in front of me. I actually have been seeing this video float around quite a little bit, and the one that I've recently, recently, it's been a while, but recently watched was the one by Sari, who's my good friend, or at least in my head. I hope she thinks the same way, and I will link her video down below, but she has tier ranked the books that she has read so far this year. And I thought I would do the same thing. I have read about 80 books. I do have to say that I left a couple of them out. Some of them were for my studies, and then a couple were just sort of pleasure reads, and they were these cowboy romances, and I can just say as in general that they were three-ish stars. So, that out of the way, I have included all of the other books, so I'm gonna start recording my screen. I think I know how to do that now. I actually looked it up. This should be working, and let's go. Hopefully you can now see my screen, and let's just start with the first one. So Agatha Christie's Death on the Nile. I really, really love that one. I'm gonna, by the way, put these to one, two, three, four, and five stars. Maybe I could have... Oh, I can still change them. Let's change them. Three, two, one. Okay, now we know what that means. This is basically the five star is godlike, the four star is really, really enjoyed them, but not yet quite not quite five stars. Three, very enjoyable read, enjoyed it. Two, very, very disappointing. One is just not for me. So I, I don't think I have a lot of one star. I think I do have one. I'm sure I have one, but I'm not sure if I have any more. So let's start with Death on the Nile. I really love Agatha Christie's books and this is definitely four stars. The Scorpio Races by Maggie Steve Father. I've actually reread this one. I hated it when I was a kid and rereading it this year, I realized that I quite like it. So I think four, three, three stars. Breaking Dawn, three stars. House Anubis, this is actually an entire series I put in the first one. They're all pretty good, so I put them in three stars. They're enjoyable. The Big Four, Act Christie, four stars. I think I put all the Act the Christie ones on four stars, so, but you know. Agatha Christie, The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. Really enjoy that one. Four stars. I think that is one of the best ones out there. I might put... I'm going to put Death on the Nile on five, though. I loved Death on the Nile. Murder in Mesopotamia. Pretty good. Four star. A reread of The Wrath and the Dawn. You can guess where I'm putting that one. Nimona. I actually borrowed that one from uh, Cherise. It's a comic book and I really enjoyed it. I think I gave it four stars. Forbidden Wish. Some One of my all-time favorites, but not quite four stars, so we're gonna put it in four. Not quite five, year, five stars is what I wanted to say. Rose and the Dagger is gonna go right next to The Wrath and the Dawn. Also a reread. Memories. This is by Lang Liaf. It's actually poetry and mwah, three stars. Every Heart of Doorway. This one really, really surprised me. I didn't think I would like this one, but I do. Four stars. This Savage Song was not for me. I think I would have loved this one if I was a bit younger, because I do love Victoria Schwab's writing. From what I've read so far, the Cassidy Blake series is one of my favourite series ever, especially children's series. And I love The Near Witch. I still have to read Darker Shades, which I'm sure I love, but I think I gave This Savage Song two stars. Two and a half, but I don't want to put it in three because I definitely enjoyed it less than these ones. Beneath the Sugar Sky was, I think, three stars. Was okay, but not the best. Nameless Queen. Really enjoyed that one, but not four stars. So three stars. I really love that there was no love interest in this one, but it's really about the story, which is nice for once. Wind Witch. I think I gave that one three stars as well. I, in general, like... The Witchland series by Susan Denard, but they're not my all-time favorites, and I definitely 
enjoyed Wind Witch less, less than Truth Witch. I think this one is called The Princess Princess Ever After, something like that, which is by the same author who wrote The Dragon Society, which is over here. I'll just start with The Dragon Society. That one is definitely... I think I gave all of them four stars. See, where are they? Two... Where's the final one? I'm... I know that I put it in here. Oh, here it is. You probably have already seen it. And I gave this one three stars because it's less than the, than the rest. Caravel was a reread somewhere early this year. Five stars. Love that book. Down Among the Sticks and Bones. I don't remember which one this was. Because I know that there's one of them that I have absolutely loved and I gave five stars. And I think that is this one. Or is it In an Absent Dream? Oh man, I can't keep these apart. I think that was an absent dream. Yes. Okay, so this one is four stars. I can't remember which story is which, but I'll talk you through the one that I, I will get to. Everless. I loved the concept of the book, but she was a little bit whiny. I think I gave the first one three stars. Three, 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 three and a half, but they don't compare to say the forbidden wish i'm gonna put it in three stars the serpent secret it's not my kind of book um three stars i'm not gonna mumble too much about these because otherwise it will get a very long video i'm pretty sure it's gonna be long anyway so the hundredth queen four stars this was also a reread i had to reread one that i think i loved a couple of years ago and that was this one sky in the deep adrian young all the way to the top baby i love that book okay the shadows between us read it this year five stars love that one night of cake and puppets by laney taylor i enjoy that one but it's a shorter story so i'm gonna give it i think i gave it four stars like that's what my mind is saying right now poppy war all the way to the top i loved that story i actually listened to the audiobook i can definitely recommend it i did a sort of half half and it is it is amazing reflection that was also i think a reread five stars anything mulan really if it's done right it's for me unravel the dusk i know that i've hyped this book up a lot and i'm gonna get gonna give it four stars actually the reason for this is that i've loved spin the dawn and i've not nearly loved this one as much so it's going to be four stars. I still really, really love it though, but it's not five stars. Yesterday I Was the Moon, I think this one is called. That's my one star book. It's poetry and there is no capitalization of the word I, which bothered me to no end. There was no punctuation and in general it just didn't make sense. I think poetry is very, very personal and I like a little bit more of a structure to poetry. So this one was not for me. Empress of All Seasons. Same thing, but this one is two stars. I loved the idea of this book. The different races and also the fact that they sort of have to fight through multiple seasons to become the queen. I loved that, but the ending, I just didn't really like the ending. Let's just move on. Two Dark Rains by Kendar Blake. I have loved the Three Dark Round series, but this, this was not for me. I think I should have read them earlier. I'm not sure. Maybe my reading tastes have changed, but this was a DNF for me, so I'm going to put it in one star. Evermore. This is, uh, this, um, I think I gave this one two stars. It's definitely less than Everless. With Evermore, I just felt like it was a, they were running around and nothing was happening. Um, yeah, it, it was just not for me. Sorry. Agatha Christie's Evil Under the Sun, five stars. This is my first read ever of Agatha Christie books. This was a reread this year. I have the game that also links to this book, which is on the Wii, and I just love the story so much. Okay, this is The Pharmacist's Wife. I, did I finish it? I think I even finished it, and I hated every minute of it. So, um... I'm not sure if I gave it one or two stars, but I'm going to put it in one. It was not for me. The Lantern's Ember by Colleen Hook. I love this book. Four stars, definitely. 
it was very, very different from what I thought it would be, but I loved every minute of it. In an Absent Dream, this is five stars. If you have read the Wayward Children series, you know that this one is about... What was her name? You Shumi? No? Sumi? Anyway, this is by far my favourite story of all, and if you get to this series, you'll probably know why. Okay, then we have Tales of Beetle the Bard. Let me just tell you that we do not stan JK Rowling on this account, on this YouTube page, or in general. I just... she's toxic. But I did reread it earlier this year, and I think back then I gave it three stars. I think the stories are still fun, not looking at the author, so that's all I have to say about that. Okami and Yumi are short stories. I think I gave them three stars. They're pretty good, but they're short stories. The Candle and the Flame. That's a fun story. I was so excited for this book, and I just don't like the way that they went about relationships and... gonna put it in two stars and just move on. Kingdom of Copper! All the way to the top. Absolute favourite book ever. This series really broke and made my heart. I loved it. Serpent and Dove. Same, same story. Love the story. I went through it I think in one sitting or nearly one sitting and I lost some sleep over this but we don't regret it at all. The Triumphant by Leslie Livingston. This was quite of quite of a disappointment when comparing it to the first two books in the series. Maybe it's because I read it quite late after it came out, but I, I I'm gonna go for three stars. It was enjoyable still. Arusha and the End of Time. I loved the idea of this book, and in general the story I loved, but I'm not so sure if it's really for me. It is a children's book, so I think that is properly placed but i did really enjoy it so i'm gonna put it in three stars let me just tell you guys that three stars is not bad on my rating system lost sisters by holly holly black yes holly black these are some stories from jude's sister's perspective what was her name again it was enjoyable three stars <laughs> king's Bane. you you guess where that's going yeah all the way to the top love that book the Hunting Party by Lucy Foley. Interesting read. I'm on the fence about this one. The reason for this is that I have loved the mystery of it, but the ending was a little bit meh. And in general, the characters were very, very black and white. Like, they were all evil or they were good. There was no in-between. Three stars. We Hunt the Flame. Wanna guess where that's going? Night, right next to Kingsbane. Love that book. Can't wait for We Free the Stars. Need it now. Please send me an arc. <laughs> okay. Ember and the Ice Dragons. New favourite. Definitely. That is the best children's book I have ever read. Heather Fawcett was already one of my absolute favourite authors after reading her duology, Even the Darker Stars. But this, oh, I loved Ember and the Ice Dragons. I really, really hope this is going to be turned into a series because... Chef's Kiss. The Devouring Grey. I actually read this one for a book club, the book club of the Travelling Books, I think it's called. I keep mixing up the name. I'm so sorry, guys, but I loved this read. I also loved doing the live show, and this is definitely a four and a half stars, just not quite yet five, so I'm going to put it in four. Then Twilight. I think this is Eclipse. Eclipse is also one of my least favourites, so three stars. The Girl the Sea Gave Back. I enjoyed this one, but not as much as Sky in the Deep, so four stars. The Stormcrow. Again, on the fence about this one, because I feel like some of the characters are done dirty in this book, or at least, well, one character is done dirty in this book. I'm not sure if he is done right in the second one, but I really enjoyed it, though. So we're going to do it for four stars. Warrior of the Wild. Yes, please. Anything Tristia Levenseller tro throws at me, I will devour. I love her writing so much. It's me. Okay. <laughs> Mooncakes. I was actually recommended this one after I finished The Tea Dragon Society, which I really loved. This... I'm not sure my heart wasn't in it. I don't know why, because I, I would have loved it. Maybe it was 
I, I really don't know what it was, but I did still really enjoy it. So I'm going to put it three stars. Come Tumbling Down, I think this one is, by Shannon McGuire as well. Enjoyed it, four star. Not as good as in, a, in an absent dream, though. Girls of Storm and Shadow. I'm on the fence about this one as well. I Let me start by saying that I sobbed my eyes out when reading this book. I think I did that also in a vlog, so... If you wanna if you enjoy people crying check that up check that up look that up wow but the story itself wasn't the best especially the ending i really didn't enjoy the ending but it did give me all the all the feels but that's more on a personal note than anything else so four stars we're just gonna put it at four stars into the crooked place I wish I would, I could say that I enjoy it. Well, I've enjoyed it, but I wish I could say that I loved this book. I don't. I did enjoy it, so I'm going to put it in three stars, but I definitely feel like it is sort of a copycat of Six of Crows. In a way, I think I've already explained this in a vlog somewhere. We're going to put it in three stars. The Beautiful, Renee Audier. I think I gave this one four-ish stars, but I did really, really enjoy reading it. I think I explained that at some point as well, but it's not five stars. Like, it's not The Wrath and the Dawn good, so we're going to put it in four. New Moon always has been one of my least favorites, so three stars. Twilight, sentimental value. We're going to keep it at sentimental value. Five stars. <laughs> Midnight Sun, I really enjoyed that one, so four stars. Ruby Red. Ruby Red, I should have read when I was younger. Three stars. I still enjoyed it, but I do know that 14-year-old Esme would have reread this until her spines broke and her eyes broke. But 23-year-old Esme is not. The ABC Murders, Agatha Christie, four stars. Really, really enjoyed that one. Was good. I actually was really much screwed over up until the plot twist at the end so if you're reading this one please keep going and the last one Agatha Christie's and then there were none five stars I love love that story so much and I think in general it's just it's one of my favorite ideas in mysteries and thrillers and detectives as well because it's this idea of we're all secluded in an island and then one of us dies or in this case everybody dies and you have to solve who did it and I love that kind of thing hence why I also read Hunting Party and I'm now reading the other Lucy Foley book which is sort of the same idea I love it okay so those were the books that I ranked I did have more one stars than I thought but I think overall it's a pretty good reading year I think overall the consensus is that it's three or four stars and then I do have quite a few new ones added to my all-time favorites list which is pretty good and in general I think yeah, I've, I've, I've really enjoyed doing this as well. That said, I have been mumbling for 19 minutes, so I hope that you don't mind it being a little bit long, but this is me tier ranking the books that I've read so far. If you do like this kind of video, please do let me know. Um, I might be able to do it next year. I probably should have done this at the end of the year, but um, I can't consider myself smart all the time. So <laughs> that said, do let me know if this this is the type of video that you like and please subscribe to our channel and press that little bell icon so you get post notifications every single time we post and I hope to be catching you guys in the next one. Bye guys! Bye.